Is Indiana Jones gone for good? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, one learns to never say never again. But uh, there is no um, immediate prospect of, uh, of doing another. Well, because Sean Connery, when he, when he finished Bond, he said he'd never say never, and he turned up and never uh -huh. say never. Mm -hmm. I mean, how is it like, how, what's it like working with an actor who's playing your father when he's only 12 years older than you? <coughs> is he? <laughs> well, that's what he claims, anyway. <laughs> you know, he's a delightful man. It, it, um, uh, uh, he, uh, I mean, Sean took the obligation to play older than himself seriously, and I think uh, uh, he, he, very, he was very convincing at playing a character older than himself. Um, he's a pleasure to work with, just a sweet man. You didn't play any golf with him, I hope. No, no, no not at all. Yeah. I played tennis with him a bit. Not he's for money, a, I hope. Very competitive man. Yes, yes, he doesn't yeah. like to lose. No. Particularly when, when it's down to money, he doesn't no, like to lose. No. Very close with the Bobbies. Yes, I imagine. Yeah. How old is Indiana Jones? About 14, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there is a possibility that you could go on to play his father much the same that Sean Connery did. Oh, you see, really? the younger uh, man that could come up and take... <clears throat> no, I, I, I guess I could do one more. Uh, I've got probably... Yeah. I don't think he has any fixed age. I mean, we got stuck in this, uh, in this time period of... Yeah, the 30s, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and so, uh, uh, the, 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 I got 10 years older and the period stayed the same. It was, uh... <laughs> As, you know, the thing that we have to point out is that the cicatrice on the, on the chin, the scar. A lot of people, you must What be did you call it? The... Cicatrice. What does that mean? It's Irish for a scar oh, on see. your chin. <laughs> right. I mean, so... For the benefit of those who haven't heard your answer, yeah. did you get that in a very glamorous, reckless way, or no. you fell off a bicycle? No, I, I was in a car accident, and then I, I hit myself in the street. They did a rotten job on sewing it up, didn't they? Yeah, well, um, <laughs> they did. They did. Uh, I, was, I was 21 years old on my way to, uh, to work as a buyer of knickknacks and oil paintings at the Bullock's department store in Santa Ana. And I had an old-fashioned uh, Volvo with the seatbelt that hangs behind you, and I, I always wore my seatbelt. And uh, I, I realized I wasn't wearing it while weaving through this canyon road, and I turned around to, to pick it off its hook, and that's when I hit the telephone pole. <laughs> it's not a glamorous enough story. You'll have no. to, for future, for future talk shows, this will have to have some kind of romantic illusion. And I'll work on Women it. will have yeah. to be involved. Yeah. Yes. Or possibly rats or snakes. No, I think women. You're women. right. <laughs> You've been in six of the top ten all-time box office successes. I mean, you must be a good picker. Um, I've been very lucky. Uh, I've been lucky. No, I have. <laughs> I've worked with very good people, and that's always been, uh, been an ambition of mine, to work with the best people that I can and uh, to do different kinds of things. Uh, and, and some of the different things I've done have not been as successful. But... Uh, no, I don't know. I mean, you've gone from... You've gone, you've done Witness, you did Working Girl. Yeah. Yeah. It shows it. It's a, it's a broad spectrum. Well, uh, I think that's... Uh, that's uh, in, in, in a way, that's my obligation to myself to, to, uh, to take care of my career. Were I to do the same kind of thing over and over and, and play the same kind of role and in the same kind of movie, I don't think I'd be as viable. And is, uh, is critical as I'm success now. more important to you than, than commercial success? You know, you can never satisfy those boogers. Uh, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the people that really uh, uh, count, and, uh, and they, they, they make their vote when they go. And uh, I really am. So in a way, I mean, I could say that I'm more interested in commercial success because I'm more interested in the people than I am in the critics. But it's not just the, it's not just, uh, uh, you know, making the money. It's, it's you have, you set out to, to, to want to tell a story and, uh, and an indication of how successful you are at telling that story is whether or not the people like it. Of course. 
all the money that you make, you live, you live very quietly. I know in Wyoming on a, on a farm. And that, what can you do with all that money on a farm in Wyoming? It's buried in various uh -huh. places. <laughs> <laughs>